Welcome to After the Q&A. I'm Shiza Pasha, Public Policy Fellow at Philanthropy New York, and I'm joined here by Hugh Hogan, Executive Director of the Van American Foundation. Thank you for joining us, Hugh. Yeah, and, absolutely. And also, thank you for coming to the Defending the ACA program at Philanthropy New York. It's an important moment to come yes. to the Defending the ACA conversation at Philanthropy New York. Absolutely. So, building upon that conversation, do you think that the Affordable Care Act conversation is an entry point for philanthropy to really play a more of an advocacy role? Absolutely. I mean, this is the biggest uh, social reform in the United States in a generation it took. 70 years of presidents, uh, and Barack Obama was the first president to actually get mm -hmm. some major structural reform to our healthcare system. So the fact that that's in jeopardy and all the great things that the Affordable Care Act has done, uh, it's really important to be here and to be talking about it. And the irony is that the ACA is built on a model that came out of the Heritage Foundation 20 years ago, one of the most conservative right. institutions in the country. So that's where we are. Yeah. Uh, we're talking about a system that was taken and changed and reformed and and did a lot of good, extended coverage to between 20 and 23 million people, and now that could all be undone. Right, so how can really, how can foundations really position themselves and, and find their voice in this conversation? Yeah, so I think the big thing for me is this is a moment for uh, foundations to have a deeper, more strategic conversation. We clearly have had a cultural shift in the way politics happens in the United States, and institutions, we see this in journalism now. The New York Times had a, right headline today about uh, challenging the lies mm -hmm. of the Fact new checking. president. Yeah. yeah. And so I think philanthropy has to take a step back and say, the most important social reform in 20 years, a lot more people getting coverage in healthcare that didn't before, particularly poor and working people. Um, you have to step back and say, what do I need to shift in my funding strategy to challenge this idea that there's an alternative fact universe? There's not a one fact universe. And what do we need to do to build the voice an ability of all communities to be part of this discussion because it is going to affect all communities. As our board president, Ken Kind, uh, the, the president of the Ben Emeringan Foundation said in the discussion, this is really about are we going to have a healthier America or are we going to have a more efficient America? Right. And a more efficient America could mean a lot more people are going to lose their coverage again, according to the Congressional Budget Office, up to 38 million people as a result right. of it's, what is being discussed in Congress right, right now. And I think conversation is important, which is what we did here today. So right. thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, no, it was great to be here. Thanks. Thank keep, keep doing events and briefings like this. Absolutely. Thank you for joining us. This was after the Q&A.